hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you how i make some resin coasters guys this is a new hobby of mine i find that i really enjoy um, working with resin so you will be seeing a lot more of these videos i purchased my resin kit from michael's um, it includes the par a and b on um, the resin and the hardener along with popsicle sticks and um, some measuring cups. So guys, I mixed my resin off camera um, so that way I don't take up too much time. It does take about three to four minutes to mix and the kit actually includes instructions on how to mix the resin. So right here, I'm just adding some mica powder. I'm not sure of the name of the color because it was not included. Um, in my package that I received, uh, it's, I received a pack of maybe 15 colors and none of them had the name of the, um, the actual color. So I'm doing two layers um, for each of the coaster. The first layer is going to be the resin mixed with the mica powder and the second layer will be resin mixed with glitter. And as you guys can see, I'm measuring how much resin I want to put into each coaster. Unfortunately, I'm not at the stage yet where I can just eyeball it and just pour it into the coaster. I have to measure it since, you know, I, again, I'm new to this. But again, this is how it's looking so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the second layer, which is with the glitter. Um, this is from Let's Resin, and um, it's blush pink. And guys, I don't know if y'all can see, like it's like an outline of a circle in the middle in the middle of the coasters. I don't know if that's coming from the mica um, powder or the resin itself, but it's bothering me so much. And um, at this point, I was hoping that the glitter will cover um, whatever that is. I mean, it did cover a majority of it, um, but I can still see it after adding the glitter on top. So you'll see that later on in the video.
the second layer is added. Um, and off camera, I did use a lighter to pop um, the air bubbles that I saw. And I can still see that little circle or shadow, whatever it is. Um, but it's okay. Um, again, I'm learning. So hopefully the next time I do some more coasters, I won't have that problem again. So I'm just going to let this sit for um, 24 hours. And then I'll come back and demold it. Okay, so here is the fun part, demolding the coasters. Now, full disclosure, I may not use ever use this mold again. Um, because to me, the coasters look a little deformed. Um, I mean, I asked my friend to see if she saw what I saw and she said they were fine to her, but I don't know, it was something off about it. Um, it just, it wasn't a perfect circle. Um, so maybe you'll be able to see it in the video, but I was just not feeling it. But other than that, they did come out cute. that I did previously it looks like I added a little bit more glitter um, to these um, and I did not see that little circle in the middle on the previous um, coaster so I don't know what I did different this time um, but again I am learning so hopefully it will get better um, so guys let me know what you think um, if you have any helpful tips Go ahead, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, again, I will be posting more videos like this. So again, let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>